telling a quick fact about the country like uh, armenia is very uh, old history and it is longer than some most european countries as well and armenia population is approximately 3 million and uh, yerevan is the capital of armenia and the population mm -hmm. of yerevan is around 1 million and the language uh, uh, in armenia is majorly they speak armenian and uh, a lot of people who speaks russian as well russian language yeah. and uh, the religion is christianity major religion is christianity i think more than 95% people are christian and uh, about the christianity armenia was the first country in the world to adopt christianity as a state religion in 301 ad christianity uh, yeah so christianity is the main religion in armenia currency is armenian dram and uh, 1 dollar is equal to around 480 uh, dram at the moment and in inr it is around 11 uh, 1 armenian dram sorry 1 1 uh, inr equal to around 6.3 armenian dram or 6.4 something like this okay so i just wanted to share one screen i want to tell to uh, our travel is in travel partners that please log in into www.dukinternational.com and www.dukshare.com these two website uh, we will uh, use today also for our uh, this training and we have uh, almost all the information for all the countries whatever we are dealing with uh, in these websites so i'm just going to share the screen i wanted to uh, open duke international now David, can you uh, see the screen? Not yet. Not yet. Now? Now yes. Okay. So this is dukeinternational.com, and another screen uh, on your uh, screen is an another uh, website is dukeshare.com. Internet is little slow. <coughs> so in duke international you can see all the destinations here like this we will open armenia today about armenia okay so there you can see armenia tourism this is uh, some quick facts about armenia as i told you already that capital is yerevan currency is armenian dram population is 3 million language is armenian and now i'm going to take you directly to some interesting facts about armenia we will start from here yes uh, you should know about some facts about armenia so armenia is the first country that i told you that recognized christianity as a national religion in 301 ad the population in armenia is approximately 3 million while there are about 10 11 million uh, armenian in the world yeah so this is also a fact that uh, out of armenia more armenians are living in uh, another countries even yeah. more than their own country and armenia is the first country that uh, suffered because of genocide by turkey in 1950 murdered about 1.5 uh, million armenians and armenians celebrate their genocide in each years 24th april which is today's day yeah so today is the genocide day 
and armenia has four neighbors two of them uh, are enemies of armenia turkey and azerbaijan both countries uh, keep armenia under economic uh, blockade this is russian military base in uh, there is a russian military base in armenia second big city gyumri which uh, accomplishes uh, anti missile defense turkey just a moment yeah so turkey doesn't recognize armenian genocide already 100 years and it uh, complicates reactions uh, relations between yerevan and uh, ankara armenian language is the continuation of Arme uh, armenian language which is jesus uh, was speaking chess is a compulsory subject in schools so almost all the armenians can play chess This is compulsory subject, and the first church in the world was built in Armenia. Armenia is one of the only mono-ethnic countries in the world. Ninety-seven percent of the people living in Armenia are Armenians, and the remaining small uh, percentage is made up uh, of different ethnic minorities, such as. Uh, Yeah, these these Russians, Ukrainians, Kurds, and more. Armenia is uh, home to the world's longest non-stop double-track cable car. The cable car runs for a total of five thousand seven hundred fifty-two meters, or eighteen thousand eight seventy-one feet. It was opened on October sixteen, two thousand ten. So, David, here we are talking about Tatev, or uh, yes, yeah, this is Tatev uh, cable car. <coughs> and it was put in the record book uh, for its length and has not been uh, beaten yet so these are the fact armenia is having three unesco world heritage sites and its breed is listed as unesco's uh, intangible cultural heritage in 2014 Here is uh, Armenia tourism. So we have almost all kind of tourism in Armenia, like uh, historical tourism, cultural tourism, natural and wildlife tourism, sports, adventure, and uh, we have a very good scenic beauty for honeymooners also. So all uh, almost all kind of tourism here we have. David, uh, would you like to tell uh, something about uh, the history of Armenia and also uh -huh. about the genocide? Like today is genocide day. Yeah, genocide. Uh, it's a little bit sad history. Mm -hmm. uh, I will try to do it in short. It was happened one uh, hundred year back, one hundred and five year back, mm -hmm. and uh, until now, Turkey not is not recognizing uh, whatever has happened, whatever they did. Uh, it is not just a war. It uh, it's, they plan it to do it in three steps. Mm, they plan it, and it takes uh, not only one day. It takes uh, some year, one two years. But most uh, whatever happened, it's happened uh, in this period. That's why we choose this day, 24th of April. Mm, around one half million uh, people mm -hmm. died, and so many people went out of country. Uh, so many helps came from United States, Europe, Syria, Lebanon, Russia, Iran. Uh, so they came with the boats and all. Uh, they took some people, uh, children, uh, ladies, families, uh, whoever uh, survived. And that's why we have a big diaspora now in all of the world. Uh, even in India, in Calcutta, we have a big community. In America, Australia, Europe, Russia, most of the Armenians uh, abroad uh, they are in Russia, then uh, Europe, then Iran, America, etc. Uh, so uh, so many countries uh, recognize the genocide, uh, but Turkey they they don't do nothing. They they are not saying any sorry anything connected. 
Armenia is, Armenians are originally from from our land, from from this location. Uh, so many hundred years back, uh, we, we are from here. Uh, but Turks, they came from Altai, from, from far away. They came with the big, big, big families, you know, a few hundred people. And we are uh, uh, welcome always, welcome, welcome, welcome. So uh, measure go up and down, more Tur Turks and less Armenians. But all the main uh, structures keep by us, like bank, economy, uh, everything. But it's changed slowly, slowly, and decided they decided to do the genocide uh, to 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 take the power in the in the territory. So for the moment, uh, now we don't have any relations with the Turkey. No post, no fl flights are there. It started already some ten years back, let's say a little bit, maybe more or less. Uh, border is closed from the Turkey side. The border is controlling Armenian and Russian soldiers uh, with the Turkey. With Azerbaijan, only Armenian soldiers and Nagorno-Karabakh people soldiers. Uh, so we hope one day Turkey will come back and they will understand what they did, like uh, Germany accepted. And uh, we hope that uh, Turkey will also understand uh, and they will say at least sorry. And uh, we will try to forget the, whatever happened. And the first question, what what was the first one? Price. Yeah, uh, no, it was just about the history. Ah. Yeah. So now uh, on your screen, now you can see the visa information, which is the most important thing to visit any country. I wanted to tell about visa for Armenia. So Armenian visa is online and uh, it's an e-visa. Before it was on arrival visa also for Indians, but nowadays it is closed. But we can get uh, e visa, and uh, it takes around uh, one week, seven eight uh, days, and the fees is ten dollar. Before it was seven dollar, but now they increase it to ten dollar. So now visa fees is ten dollar, and Armenian visa take around uh, seven eight days. And we can get a st uh, stamp visa also from the embassy. A few of yeah. documents required here you can see in visa section. Yeah, which is better and safe. Yeah. And uh, about the airline, about the connectivity. So we do not have any uh, direct flight from India, but we have connecting flights. And we have uh, connecting flights like Air Arabia, Fly Dubai, Qatar Airways, and uh, Basmo. A lot of flights goes via uh, different different countries with uh, one hour, two hour layover. But uh, commonly we use Air Arabia for our guest and fly the way, which is uh, the most uh, comfortable option. Like it is cheaper also, and uh, we can get uh, a lot of connections because Air Arabia is available in uh, 13, uh, 13 cities of India. Just a moment. It's available in 13 cities of India and uh, connects uh, connect uh, to uh, uh, its capital, uh, Yerevan. And uh, these 13 uh, cities, I would like to tell you. It is like uh, uh, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi, Coimbatore, Goa, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Kochi, Kochikode, Mumbai, Nagpur, and Tiruvananta. These 13 uh, destinations from Air Arabia flies. Okay. So now the main uh, major city uh, for uh, tourism is Yerevan city and the near around cities. Yerevan is uh, the capital city is most beautiful city and uh, we land in uh, Yerevan city. And Yerevan city is uh, just a moment. Um, I'm getting one push message all the time. Yeah, flights are reaching in Yerevan. We have one more airport which is in Gimli. Uh, one minute. Someone is saying voice is not coming. I'm not mm -hmm. audible, David. My voice is not coming. 
For me, it's okay. So maybe some network problem with others. It's here. Network is good, and uh, I'm speaking loudly. Right. Okay. So I was on uh, year one, right? Yes. So Yerevan uh, is the capital city, and it is the one of the oldest uh, inhabited cities in the world. And uh, the, uh, the population is around one million, and it is situa situated along uh, with the Rajdan River, the Rajdan River. And uh, so now, uh, David, I'm coming to you directly, and. Uh, just uh, tell me about which cities of Armenia are connected uh, uh, with the railway, railway of Armenia. Which cities uh, can be covered with the railway? Yeah, the, before uh, our railway goes to uh, Baku also, Baku, it was connected to uh, Yerevan, Baku and Yerevan Tbilisi. But now because there is no relation with Azerbaijan, our railways go only to Georgia, Tbilisi and Batumi. Tbilisi is capital, and Batumi is the seaside uh, connected with the Black Sea. So summertime Batumi train is not working, but uh, Yerevan Tbilisi full year is working. Um, uh, almost every day is uh, going and coming. It takes from Yerevan to Tbilisi around uh, nine hours because train is going slow a little bit. Uh, the main cities which uh, train is uh, working, Yerevan, the, then uh, it's the second biggest city, Gyumri, then Vanadzor, then uh, Alaverdi. Right now I'm in Alaverdi, I'm at the north. Then uh, crossing the border to Georgia, going to Tbilisi. But there is one more which is only in Armenia. It goes only to the Lake Seban until end of the lake. This is also connecting Yerevan, uh, Razdan, Sevan and going to Shorja, it's a city. So you can say if, uh, only main cities, uh, Yerevan, Gyumri, Vanadzor, northern side cities are connected with the railway. Railway cost is uh, not very expensive, just maybe two, three dollar per person. Uh, style is old style, Soviet style uh, trains are uh, going there. Uh, our new government, of course, they are trying to Change, change the structure and uh, make it more and large and comfortable and quick. But for the moment, uh, we are uh, using the old uh, trains, okay. <laughs> which is also funny. You know, for tourists, it is uh, interesting and it is also funny. Just it takes time. You can think at night. So, um, at night, you can sleep and you will not lose the time. So you will reach or Batumi. Okay, okay, perfect. So, David, there is one question on my screen. Uh, yeah. What is the average temperature? I would like to tell that uh, Armenia has a crazy climate. Yeah. And, uh, that it, uh, it goes from uh, freezing cold in the winter to boiling hot in the summer. Am I right? Right, right. Yeah, so they have everything. Yeah, we have, we yeah. have four seasons. Uh, all four, four uh, are actual. Uh, only uh, autumn and spring is uh, shorter uh, than winter and summer, they are longer. The longest one takes summer, which is very, very hot. In uh, winter, it's uh, very cold. We face the snow, even in capital also. But all the mountains uh, covered the, the snow uh, all, all, uh, all winter. Uh, and even in Yerevan, if there is no snow, you go to Tzachkadzor, which is not far, around uh, 60 kilometers, and you can ski. There is ski resort, the mountains, until 2,800 meters, you can go by the cable car, and you can spend your day very well. Uh, spring and autumn is shorter, directly changing from hot to cold, like you can say. Uh, Temperature right now, it should be around 15 degrees. Uh, summer until 30, 40 is going hot. Winter, minus 20, minus 25 maximum at night. Okay, perfect. 
this last five, 10 years, uh, temperature at the winter, it was around zero, minus two, minus five, minus three, something like that. Okay, perfect. So I want to tell that uh, uh, I'm getting a lot of questions. I wanted to tell to everyone that uh, um, I will give uh, last 15, 20 minutes for questionnaire session and uh, you can raise your hand and I will unmute you also. You can ask the question directly from our destination expert and you can uh, yeah. ask the question. And also you can write in the chat box. My team is there to reply in the back end. And I, I can also uh, read the question here live and I can answer it. Okay, so thank you very much, David, for this information. And what about the transport uh, system in Armenia? I mean, public transport and all. Public transport, uh, the, we have metro also. Mm -hmm. uh, not all the modern cities even, they are having metro, but we have metro. After Second World War, uh, that we, we were connected with CISO, uh, in all capitals, let's say in Kiev, Russia, Yerevan, in Georgia, Azerbaijan, uh, almost everywhere uh, we did the metro station. We have one line only. Uh, 14 stations, it's cheap, there is no traffic, and easy to get to the center, it's, it's the best uh, transportation you can say. We have also small minibuses, uh, around 14 people, old style a little bit, uh, and we have buses also 25, 35, depends. But usually we use taxi also. The taxi has become cheaper, uh, even reasonable for local people also. Uh, uh, so all kinds of transports uh, we are having, uh, but also um, to 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 be honest, our Maria government uh, ordered a few hundred uh, buses for uh, for Yerevan, and it will be ready maybe by next next year. And because we want to change all the chain, all the transport uh, to get more comfortable for the citizens. Perfect. And uh, what about self-driven cars, David? If someone wants to uh, take the car to Georgia or if someone wants to bring the car from Georgia, so yeah. what about self-driven cars? There is no issue. For example, I can drive to Georgia and three months I can be there with my car and no problem. Just we have to do insurance, which is um, around, uh, let's say, $10, $15, uh, mm -hmm. short one, and that's it. Driving distance from Yerevan to Tbilisi, it's uh, five hours without stop, mm -hmm. 300 kilometers. But it's not straight away. You go to the mountains, you come down, again up, down, because uh, Armenia is a mountainous country, as well Georgia. Same for Georgians. They can also come by car to travel in Yerevan, Armenia. Uh, again, three months, 19 days, 90 days. Um, they can use their vehicle in Yerevan. Or else, and, uh, if you are a tourist, mm -hmm. you, and if you want to rent a car and drive both countries, uh, also it's available. You can take, uh, for example, there are some agencies which are giving car in Yerevan, and you can give them back into Tbilisi. So no problem with that. Or a versa versa. You take a car from Tbilisi, you give them back in Yerevan. They come and they take care of it. Perfect, perfect. And what about the immigration facilities? I mean, formalities and all? Uh, for and us, uh, there is nothing. Just uh, you take your passport, no fee. It's uh, free. There is no uh, taxes, nothing to pay. No, nothing need to pay. Just you buy with your passport, even no need visa. For all CIS countries, we can travel between uh, all CIS countries without visa for three months. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for Indian people, if they are traveling to another country, they must have uh, the valid visa for that country and they can go. Right, of course, of course. They have to uh, arrange the, the, that visa before traveling to Armenia. Mm -hmm. Or if timing will be okay, they can ask in some of the embassies in Armenia to get the visa. But we recommend to take everything uh, from India to come here ready already with all the papers. Okay, so uh, just a moment, David, just a moment. If 
we have Armenia visa, then we need visa of Georgia, of course. No, no, no. If they have Armenian visa, they Indians they cannot travel to Georgia with Armenian. But they need Georgian visa, right? Yes, they need Georgian visa. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I, yeah. I said. We need the Georgian visa also. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yerevan okay, so. is not so far. Three hundred kilometer takes five hours. Um, even we are going to Georgia for vacation. Saturday, Sunday, or two nights, three days. Yeah. So five hours from the center, right? Or from the border? Five hours from, from the capital to capital. Capital to capital. Yeah. Without stop. OK. OK. So uh, by train, it will take nine, uh, nine hours, capital to capital. And uh, to Batumi, it will take double. It will take maybe one full day, 24 hours. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so flight is that, available. Sorry, fly also available. Uh, connecting uh, Yerevan to Tbilisi, it takes forty-five minutes. Okay, forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Okay, so now we will uh, talk about the food. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, local food and Indian food. What is the availability of Indian food, Indian restaurant in the country, and also uh, about the local food. Yes. And also tell me if it's uh, Georgian, uh, sorry, this Armenian local food uh, suitable for vegetarian people? Uh, yes, we use uh, both, um, uh, but uh, in Armenia, uh, we, d we don't have uh, so many vegetarian people. Almost all the people are eating meat, 95% you can say, and we eat uh, all kinds of uh, the meat, like pork, uh, beef, uh, mutton, fish, chicken, those, those kinds, I mean, uh, not the, the wild animals I'm not speaking about, but mostly people are using meat, that's why um, not, we have, uh, of course, all kinds of vegeta vegetables, but we didn't use, uh, we didn't have a lot of choices of veg options, you can say. We have so many salads. Almost in the half half uh, half of the uh, places we put meat in salad. So of course we can take it out. Also in main courses we have veg barbecues, so many kind of. But we are mixing with the meat. But if we know that the people doesn't like the meat, we can do combo with only vegetarian. Okay. <clears throat> what about uh, Indian food? Availability of Indian food restaurants. Indian food available uh, um, only in the cap only in capital. Uh, we, have, we have so many students and Indians are living in Armenia right now, around 20, 30,000 people. And now uh, the quantity of the restaurants increased a little bit. It's around five to six restaurants we are having now with Indian food. Jain food is available, veg, non-veg, all kinds of starters. Uh, uh, paratas, bread, uh, tandoori items, everything is available. No problem. We do even for big groups, we do catering. If in that city, for example, where group is staying, there is no Indian food, but they want. So we cater, we take the kitchen in that place and we prepare the food in that uh, place, Indian food. So, but uh, to be honest, Indians like Armenian food also. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't use a lot of spices, like uh, Indian uh, kitchen is uh, rich uh, with the spices. We try to mix less items. Not so many items we mix in the, um, to have a lunch or dinner. We mix few items, one, two, two, three. But in India, we know like 10, 15 items. <laughs> Uh, mixing uh, with different colors and different uh, and we have uh, uh, our food is less spicy of course we can add but we don't, don't like we like more salty than spicy georgians they like more spicy than salty okay perfect so uh david what what about the capacity of indian restaurants if we talk about the big group like uh, 70 80 90 people so we yeah have we have restaurant we have, available Two restaurants, we have uh, 40 people capacity, smallest, 
Then coming 70 to 80, and one is 90 and 100. Okay. But uh, of course, we have a lot of uh, weddings, uh, banquets. The capacity is uh, much bigger, around 300, 500, 800, even 1,500 one. Yeah. Which is near near Shangri-La Casino. Shangri-La, there is one casino, one hotel, and uh, the restaurant hall banquet, which is the biggest one. Around 1,500 people can accommodate this hall. Okay. okay. So you said, David, that uh, we have the big banquet halls, uh, wedding banquet halls, right? So yes. how how uh, how is this country for uh, destination wedding? You can say. We can arrange destination weddings also here. What of course, we can, we can yeah. do that. Of course, uh, yeah, we can take this uh, wedding hall. Uh, hotels are enough. We have nice hotels, big hotels, uh, and we can do all the arrangement in the banquets. Even we can take two banquet halls if required. Same time, two weddings or more. Connected with the banquets, food, uh, there is no issue. The visa is done, uh, we can ask from the embassy. Connection is, um, there is no direct connection that we know suddenly, we hope it will come. Uh, so uh, whatever connected uh, for uh, with the Indian uh, tourists, everything is set, nothing is missing. The main thing is food, it is available. Uh, good chain of hotels, we have local chains also, uh, branded also. For example, we have one local chain which called Ani. They have three star, four star, and four star plus properties. Four star and four star plus, those two are the biggest in Armenia, 270, 300 uh, rooms there. Uh, we have uh, Marriott, we have uh, Hilton, Hyatt, Redison, uh, two holiday inns. Mm, what else? Uh, so many hotels, small hotels also are there. Uh, for uh, hostels also are there for uh, for the tourists that they they want to economize uh, they they like a little bit uh, normal budget hotels sightseeing are there we have so many sightseeing uh, armenia is uh, small not very big uh, you can cover all the regions uh, maybe in uh, if you will do nice it will take one week <laughs> but <laughs> Normal, uh, we can do uh, itinerary until 15 days, 15 nights. But our standard itinerary is three nights, four days, four nights, five days. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what cities you will advise David to visit in uh, uh, four, five, six days itineraries? Like standard itinerary, we have like four nights, five days. So what major cities to be covered? Well, for Indian market, I would recommend the one night to stay at the Tahkad or Dilijan. Mm -hmm. It, it's a mountainous place. Sakhkadur, uh, there is the highest cable car, 2,800 meters. Dilijan is a green green place, green resort. Uh, we the tourists say it's a small, it's a Switzerland. Uh, but uh, for other markets, um, you know, I can recommend even to stay in the north in Alaverdi. In Gyuri, one or two nights, which is the cultural capital, you can say, like Mumbai, economical capital. Here, Gyumri is cultural capital. Uh, in South, in Goris, or even uh, I can recommend to travel to Nagorno Karabakh Republic. Uh, there is uh, five uh, places to see. It's safe. We cannot go to the closed border with Azerbaijan. It will be we will be in the city center. In okay. Jermuk also, in Jermuk there is okay. 2,800 meter of high so from the sea level on the mountains. There is also ski resort, also cable car, uh, very fresh, uh, and so many resorts are there. In Goris, which is near Pater Monastery, in Pater there is longest cable car, which around six kilometers. In Goris also, I, I would recommend to take an overnight. But this is just for the tools that they, they like um, history uh, and all. 
if they want to stay more in the city, so better to stay in Yerevan and maybe one or two nights in Kakhtagor. Okay. Okay. So there is one question. If someone has Azerbaijan stamp on his passport, will he have any problem to get Armenia visa? No. No. There is no, there is no problem, of course. No, no, no. There is no problem. If you have a uh, Nagorno-Karabakh Republic visa in your passport, mm -hmm. the conflict is going on between Armenia and Azerbaijan for Nagorno-Karabakh Republic. Mm -hmm. If you have Karabakh visa in your passport and you want to go to Azerbaijan, in the border Azeri people, maybe they will create a problem. But in Armenia, we don't create any problem. Okay. Even you can get the Karabakh visa uh, in separate paper. This is the second choice also to not have any issue. But we recommend our uh, guests uh, to start if they want to do combo packages. We recommend them to start from Azerbaijan. Like Azerbaijan, then Georgia, then Armenia. It will be easier and comfortable for the tourists. And if they want to combine two countries, they can combine Georgia and Armenia. But Armenia with Azerbaijan only, we cannot combine. Because but we can keep uh, Georgia in, 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 in the middle, middle and we can uh, combine three countries also. Yes, this we can do. This we are doing. Yeah. Okay. And uh, David, what is the availability of uh, Hindi-speaking guide in the country? Uh, look, we have one um, family here. They are, uh, the husband is Armenian, wife is Indian mm -hmm. and they have four child, three daughter and one boy. So all of them are guides. Okay. All of them are speaking Hindi. And we have okay. one more lady also. She is also Hindi speaking. We can say four or five uh, people we are having. So we can get easily, right? Yes, but all, uh, from the other side, uh, they speak also English. And uh, and uh, they are they are they are booked long times back for English groups already. Okay. Uh, we okay. need to, yeah, we need to do a little bit early booking to, to get them free. Okay, perfect. So, David, as you told uh, just, just now that you have uh, very good options of three-star, four-star, five-star hotels for accommodation. Mm. Uh, here, I, I wanted to ask about uh, the meeting rooms. Like, uh, we have sometimes big groups and uh, we have big conferences. Our, for our mice group, what kind of setup is there? Can we get the big uh, meeting rooms in the yes. hotels? Yeah. Yeah. In uh, branded hotels, uh, uh, even in local hotels, they have the meeting room. Uh, it will be enough for groups. If it will be not, for example, our group is, uh, let's say, 400, 500 people, and Marriott the meeting room is for 300 people. We can take the big, biggest uh, bank, banquet hall and we can do all the setup in this banquet. Okay, uh, so in banquet hall also we can arrange the setup for meeting. Of course, of course. And it can be followed by gala dinner after. Mm -hmm. And for gala dinner also we can do the catering for Indian food, right? Of course, yes, of course, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, Armenian brandy. Like uh, cognac is uh, world famous. Dal. You like yes. to tell something about the history of cognac? Of Armenia? Uh, you know, so many famous people like Churchill, if I'm not mistaken, they used to drink Armenian brandy. Uh, brandy is uh, better to. Uh, I have this side, cap. Okay, not with me. Uh, 50 gram you put in the cup and you heat it, you heat it with your arm like this. It, if you will keep it like, let's say, two minutes, it will be hot. Ah. And then you can dry without mixing, without mixing any uh, water or soda, nothing. The Armenian style, we are not mixing. Uh, if you will mix, you will spoil it. You know, brandy, you have to drink uh, whatever it is. And little, little, kum by kum, in the, at the evening, or in the party or birthday, wedding, whatever, but uh, with peach, uh, fruit peach. If they not available, chocolate. But better with the fruit, apricot or peach, something. So apricot also is the national fruit of Armenia. Yes, yes. 
Apricot um, is the best in Araratian Valley, mm -hmm. which is front of the Mount of Ararat. Mm -hmm. Ararat is in Turkey. Uh, in front of the Mount, there is 10,000 square kilometer horizontal Araratian Valley, and Apricot and Grape is the best from there you can get. Uh, brandy, it's good to give a gift also. Uh, sometimes we joke, we are saying we are not drinking uh, brandy, we are giving gift. <laughs> it's for gift, it's not to drink. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, what about, if we talk about nightlife, what about the popular clubs and discos in the Yerevan city and mm. other cities? Uh, nightclubs are there also, like uh, pubs are there, bars. Yeah. Bar and pub, the same kind. Uh, clubs, karaoke clubs are there. Um, also, strip clubs are there. Mm -hmm. um, there is nice shows are going on. Mostly, uh, uh, it started at night, uh, ten o'clock starting. Entrance fee is maybe ten twenty dollars, depend which one. Mm -hmm. uh, nightlife we have. But because we are a small country, three, 3 million people only, nightlife is big for us. <laughs> but of course, yeah, I, I mean, it's, uh, we cannot compare the nightlife with European capitals nightlife, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, there is nightlife, everything available, everything available, even uh, mm -hmm. Uh, just you you need to know how to how to uh, enjoy your night how, Where to, how, how to discover it yeah some 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 guide book or even taxi drivers you yeah. know everything your guide for example yeah. they can guide you wherever to go in car okay you can uh, order a song you can song you can drink enjoy with your friends with your okay and uh, what about the availability of Indian food in uh, nearby cities? Like we, we take our guests to Garni Jagad, Lake Sevan, and other cities. So, for example, in Garni, uh, we are we have one habitat house uh, where we are getting food. Uh, if group wants Indian food, again we can cater. But I would recommend to keep at least one two time local food to have the test uh, of Armenian food. But it's no problem for catering. There is no Indian restaurant. Only in capital Indian restaurants are there. Mm -hmm. in Yerevan. Except Yerevan, wherever you want, we need to find the banquet hall with the kitchen and to do the catering. Okay. Even in Sevan, we can do that. In Tlachkadur also. Okay. We have good okay. time with uh, Indian restaurants. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, we have... Uh, normal um, uh, uh, budget mm -hmm. uh, we are i want to say it's a reasonable it's not fantastic expensive uh, they they do all the arrangement and everything perfect so as uh, mr davis said that uh, we can make the itinerary of uh, maybe 14 15 days in uh, mm -hmm. armenia so yeah. one hour is not enough to tell about all the sightseeing so here you can visit our website and you can uh, see the top tourist destinations or tourist uh, attractions, Armenian attractions. And our team is here in Delhi and uh, in your uh, local cities also to assist you anytime. You can write us, you can visit our, uh, you can visit our website, you can see dukeshare.com. Here on the dukeshare in another page I wanted to show. If you will go on uh, Armenia page, you will hear one terrible uh, travel information. Just a moment. So, press the basics of uh, uh, basic requirement of a uh, tourist. Uh, we already discussed that we can get the uh, Indian food easily and uh, as well as local food is also there. And this is a uh, Indian people can eat easily and the hotels are there, banquet halls are there, meetings we can arrange for our big uh, mice groups and uh, visa is easy, no problem, flights are there. So 
rest uh, itinerary we can design as per your requirement as per your group's requirement here you can see uh, about uh, year one travel information and tour guide and here are the pictures of the famous tourist uh, sports in uh, year one every every uh, uh, small small information is there we have a lot of travel blocks also here you can see in armenia attractions if you will uh, read the blocks you will find the details of all the tourist sites in uh, armenia and now uh, i wanted to tell you about uh, one very uh, important thing uh, like asian connect in our website you can see on my screen this is asian connect Asian Connect, uh, we designed this uh, tool for our uh, travel partners to get the live details of our inventory, like uh, our uh, purchase, uh, like what seats we are purchasing for the fixed departures. Here you can get the details. If you will log in here, let me check if I can show you. Yeah, like this. On the screen, you can see it, David. Yes. Okay. So here, all destination for uh, for the destination, uh, we have uh, seats. Like if if I will open Kazakhstan, here we can select the month. The internet is uh, slow. Like on your screen, you can see it is Tashkent four night. I'm sorry, my internet is not working properly. And also, please write your questions in the chat box. The team is replying. You can raise your hand also. Yeah, I'm there is one question. question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is one question in chat uh, connected with uh, transportation level of your country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. cheaper mode of transportation for? Uh, Trio or twin uh, destination: Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia. As much uh, destination, then transportation is becoming expensive. Eh? Uh -huh. You can say uh, Azerbaijan, Georgia, or Azerbaijan, Georgia. It will be cheaper than Azerbaijan, Georgia, and Armenia. But if you want to know Azerbaijan, Georgia cheaper or Georgia and Armenia, this we have to calculate. Maybe will be the same, I'm not sure. Okay, so now uh, I'm taking the question from uh, Sakshi Vasin. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. One minute. Maybe some problem in internet. Sorry, I cannot take the question. You can write on chat box. Okay, so this I was showing you is in connect. Here you can see uh, biscuit for night. Total seats 30. Book seat 15. Available is 15 seats. Here you can see the itinerary. You can download the itinerary. Customize tour you can add. And optional here you can see and term on conditions. You can book directly from here also uh, any of the departure so live inventory is here in asian connect also uh, now i'm taking you directly to the contact uh, our contact space where you can see the uh, our uh, overseas offices and our india offices 
and also we have a good DD team in all the cities, in all major cities of India. All the details is there uh, in the website with the contact number. You can directly contact them. Here you can see our head office in Connaught Place in New Delhi. And these are our overseas offices. You can see Almaty, Biscay, Tashkent, Tbilisi, Yerevan, Armenia, Kiev, Ukraine, Moscow, and Baku. And this is our sales offices you can see in Mumbai, Dubai, Chennai, <coughs> Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Delhi. Also, uh, you will see the name, like in Mumbai, Mr. Abhishek Patel and Rahul Chaudhary is there. Here is the, the phone number of uh, the sales guys. And uh, in Chennai, Mr. Madhu Sudan. In Hyderabad, uh, Mr. Sayyid Jafar Ahmed. In Ahmedabad, Mr. Hitesh Jani. In Delhi, Ms. Swetangi Tohan. And in Kolkata, Rashtik Chakrabarti. The numbers are here, email IDs are here, you can write or you can write us in uh, on the sales at the redbooktravels.com and definitely we will assist you. So now uh, I will close this session. If you have any question, please write us. Thank you very much, Mr. David, for uh, joining today thank you thank you very much thank you very much uh, for everyone for joining this session thank you